never forget to thank the Lord. Every first light of the sun and every morning start over again. Little by little, I knew man is born within us, within us. Do not ever lose hope. After the storm, there is always the sunshine. And you and I will always be more than two, always more than two. Forget the pain, today's worth the love. Remember your smile is what warms my heart up. And share you be more than enough. Is this fraternity creating bonds among us? Among us? What count is how hard you work? Work to pursue the good. And you and I will always be more than two. Always more than two. All the heavens organizing children swarm us deep inside. Jesus is already helping us to reach a brand new life. Ways of actions of such beauty can come from our own true hands. Feelings that are so triumphant bloom so naturally well then. I'll better be ready inside So that I won't fight or comply Invincible love has to grow And reach everyone All I want is just to share my love A whole lot of new affairs there's a light that comes to shine so bright into our minds for our God to glorify. Organizing to transform us deep inside. Jesus is already helping us to reach a brand new life. Ways of actions of such beauty can come from our own two hands. Feelings that are so triumphant bloom. Well then, I better be ready inside So that I won't fight or comply Invincible love has to grow And reach everyone All I want is just to share my love
shine so bright into our mind for our God to
side with Jesus we go on Hello, brothers and sisters from so many nations. Welcome to the Concafra's Global Webinar. My name is Rodrigo, and I'm in Winnipeg, Canada. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, and greetings, Rodrigo. Good to see you, and we are just so happy to be gathered here today. My name is Cara, and I am joining you today from Florida in the USA. Hello, Cara. Long time I don't see you. Good to see you. <laughs> so good to see you too. Concafra is a meeting of spiritist volunteers that seeks to bring study activities, practice of charity, and the dissemination of spiritist teachings with everyone's reach. We have several opportunities for everyone to know more about the spiritism. Exactly. And here today at the Concafra Global Webinar, we're going to get to know just a little bit more about the Spiritist Doctrine, and we're also going to learn about some very interesting topics. There are many cool options because Spiritism brings the answers to the questions and the doubts that we might be having or thinking. That's right, Cara. And to prepare for this moment, let's invite our friend Alini from California, United States, to do our opening prayer. So in this moment, I would like to invite everyone to close their eyes and think about Jesus, think about our lives. Please, God, we ask you to protect our families, to protect our friends, and to stay with us during this webinar, bringing light to many hearts and to many people who are in need of you. Please stay with us today in us, and so be it. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are. If you are watching us and want to know more about Spiritism, congratulations, you're in the right place. Spiritism teaches bring us consolation for the most diverse afflictions of life. Clarifies where we are coming from, where we are going to, what the causes of suffering are, how we improve our attitudes and live better lives, and much more. 
So true, so true, Rodrigo. The Spirit is teaching it really, it is a blessing for everyone who knows it, who studies it. And that is why we are here today in this wonderful event, the Concafres Global Webinar to bring spiritist enlightenment around current and very relevant and pertinent questions, such as, is there life after death? Can we communicate with those who have already died? Is there reincarnation? Why do some children seem to remember their past? How do science and spiritism explain reincarnation? Well, these are good questions. And in this event today, our Concaptus Global Webinar, we're going to have two talks that will clarify these and many other important questions. In addition, after the first talk that we're going to present to you firsthand, an unmissable opportunity to make your life better. So please be present, stay with us for the whole event so you don't miss this exciting news. Yes, Cara, today's program is amazing. And I'm going to share with you, I know what this opportunity is. Aha, aha, I'm well informed. Trust me, you do not want to miss it. But don't worry, we are not selling anything to you. Don't worry about not selling. We're not going to ask for your credit card number, anything. So, ah. I just remembered at the end of this evening's program, we'll have this spiritual treatment at a distance. Yes, we will definitely have our distant spiritual treatment along with the application of the past. And we know that for our spirit friends, there are no borders. So the spiritual treatment at a distance is totally possible to meet all of our needs. So you who are at home watching with us, please take some time now to prepare a bottle or a container of pure water that can be magnetized during our spiritual treatment that then you can share with you and your family afterwards. Shall we start out with our program? So today's first talk will tell us a little bit about life after death. After all, where do we go after we die? Are we resting or condemned for eternity? Can we meet with those who have already passed away? We invite our sister Veronica from Winnipeg, Canada, to share with us some of the answers. Welcome, Veronica. Hello. Thank you for joining me in this brief study about life after death. The topic of life about, up after death is one of the oldest questions in human existence. In human history, many cultures try to elaborate on what life after death would look like. And still today, this is a subject of interest and we have many questions about that. And Spiritism can help us to shed light on this topic. Let's start our study with a definition of death. Death is the destruction of the physical body. Each one of us is made of three components. The first component is the soul or the spirit. The, it is in the spirit that we have our intelligent, pretty simple, it is within the spirit that we keep our knowledge, virtues, and moral sense. The second component is the body, the dense and material envelope that we use temporarily while we are incarnated on earth. And the third principle, the third component is the perispirit, which is of semi-material nature and it serves as a connection between the spirit and the body. With death, it happens, uh, death happens because there is an exhaustion in the organs in the physical body that can no longer function properly. Then with death, the physical body goes to a process of destruction or rather disaggregation but the soul 
remains alive. Our intelligence, individuality, survives death. Since the soul survives death, the next question is, what happens to the soul after death? Spiritism can help us to answer these questions. Um, we, because there were a dedicate, uh, dedicated people that study spiritism extensively since the time of Allan Kardec that discuss and study this topic in depth. Also, through mediumship, we have knowledge through the communication with spirits about how the life after death look like. We brought here today one case as an example. Uh, this case is described by Ernesto Bozzano. Ernesto Bozzano was an Italian scholar. He lived between the years of 1862 to 1943, and he wrote many books and papers about parapsychology and spiritualism. He um, investigated the process of death and what happens after death, and th this is all in a book called The Crisis of Death. In this book, he describes a series of messages from spirits transmitted through mediumship that explain uh, about their, the moment of death and the experiences they are having in the spiritual world. So the case we have here today is about a soldier in France uh, that describes his discarnation process to his sister. His sister acts as a median in this case and uh, she describes herself as a person with no knowledge or previous exposure to spiritualism. Uh, but she had a very close uh, tie with his brother, with her brother. So she develops mediumship influenced by he, her discarnated brother. And her brother, the soldier, dictate many letters uh, through her um, uh, explaining uh, about his death in his life afterwards. He, uh, he, was, he died on the edge of a trench uh, in a battlefield and he, he describes that he died very quickly. In the moment after when he dies, he seems his, he describes he sees himself uh, with his full body outside his physical body, wearing his regular uh, uniform, and full. And he feels himself full of health, although seeing his body lying on the ground. At that moment, he thinks about his son, and he immediately he transported to the room where his son is sleeping beside his wife. He then thinks about his sister and his mom, and the same, things hap same thing happens. He's transported to the places where his sister and mother are sleeping. And then he returns to where his body is located on the trench. He had the, the uh, he knew he was dead, but he was still a little bit confused. That's when he sees a spirit approaching him and he, don't, he can't immediately recognize that spirit. But once he calls, he hear his vo uh, that spirit calling his name, he recognizes is his father who was discarnated already. So his father remains beside him, comforting him and explains to him that things will become more clear and that's normal to feel some confusion at that moment. His father then takes him to his home in the spiritual world and he explains that he lives with his father 
in that in, in that home, waiting for his mother to join them. So this case shows us that when we die, our soul leaves the physical body and returns to the spiritual world. And the spiritual world is this place that we will live after death, and it is the place where we live between each reincarnation. So it is the place where we spend time as spirits. So the notion of a spiritual life uh, is, this is the notion that the spiritual life, it's our original and natural state. And the incarnated life is actually temporary. This life we live on earth. One way we can learn more uh, about the life in the spiritual world is through the work of Leon Denis. Leon Denis was a French spiritist philosopher who disseminated spiritism after Kardec's death. His first work was published in 1897. He is entitled After Death. In this book, he details, uh, he details the process of death he discusses about the beliefs and fears surrounding death, and he also talks about the life in the spiritual world. The book also talks about the life of higher spirits, uh, how they live in the spiritual world. The book talks about the role of affection in our family ties that link us and allow us to reunite uh, our souls after death. Uh, and he also talks about the role of spirit guides or protectors that many people call as guardian angels. These are spirits that are friendly to us and each one of us has have one spirit, one friendly spirit that has the responsibility to help us, assist us in during the difficult moments of her life. And they are with us from birth to death. So even during death, we are not alone because we have this friendly spirit um, supporting us and helping us to find our way. Another great source to learn more about the spiritual world comes from the work psychographed by the medium Francisco Cândido Xavier. Xavier was an exceptional Brazilian medium who despite his pretty modest education, uh, he only had completed the elementary school, he, but he psychographed, psychographed more than 400 books. Uh, there is a collection he uh, there is a collection of books called Life in the Spiritual World, dictated by the spirit Andrea Luiz, that is a rich source of information about what is life after death look like. The first book in the series is called Nosolar. Nosolar is the name of a spiritual city where the spiritual Andrea Luis goes after his, his death. In this book, he details his own death and his life in Nosolar. Um, he talks about, uh, he, he clearly shows that the earthly world that we live here is an imperfect copy of the spiritual world. That means in the spiritual world, we will find schools, cities, homes, hospitals, and people are, uh, spirits are grouped and organized and they live together and they share resources. They engage in activities such as work, study, they appreciate art and nature. Our 
uh, it shows that our stay, uh, the time we spend in the spiritual world serves as a moment to study and learn new skills and to prepare ourselves to the next reincarnation where we can put in practice the lessons we learned as in spirit. <laughs> so we studied this book, Not Solar, in our uh, study program, Global Kardec Online School of Spiritism. This book, we study in detail in our first year um, in this program. So get, coming to near the end of our uh, brief study on uh, life after death, the Spiritism teaches that we should not have we should, not, we should not be afraid of death. Life does not end with death. We learn that revolt or despair is not necessary in the process of death because death does not end anything. With the death of a loved one or ourselves, spiritism gives us the, the comfort and understanding that life continues in the spiritual world beyond this physical life. We learn that the life in the spiritual world is a continuation of our present incarnated life and in a better condition. And Spiritism invites us to think about death as a transformation process with no change to our spiritual nature. So it is a process, a transformation, like we are when we move from one city to another. We change locations, but we are still the same. We are still ourselves. And regardless of the conditions of our present reincarnation, our present life on Earth, it is on us to face the, the present life as an opportunity for us to learn and to improve ourselves. So we should not, uh, we should face the difficulties and struggles of our daily life as um, keeping that in mind, that it is an opportunity for learning and improving. <clears throat> So when the time of death arrives, and this time is only known by God, we can uh, be confident that life continues afterwards, and we will have opportunities to meet, to reunite with loved ones, and to learn and grow and have other experiences. So we reach the end of our study. And if you want to learn more about life after death and many other topics, join us in our Spiritism courses at Global Kardec. Thanks for watching and God bless us all. Wow, what a powerful message. Jeez, Rodrigo, how enlightening this talk was for us to understand that we don't have to have fear of death, that life goes on. And, and it's just consoling to know, you know, that our loved ones and our family and friends and, and, you know, our loved ones who are already passed away, that are still alive on another plane. And, you know, it seemed like also I noticed from the chat that other people were responding to this topic. And maybe we can take a look at the comments, what people have had to say. Wow, that's very enlightening for all of us indeed, Kara. Let's see the comments then. So it looks like we have a comment from Rodrigo that says this talk is so interesting. The case study really offers evidence of life after death. Yes, the continuation of life. Also, our loved ones will be there. We are never alone. Great talk. Yes, I love that. Thank you, Rodrigo. 
So this one is for one love and unity. So nice. Thank you for sharing. To learn, we are not alone. And we have friends, spirits helping us on our way. It's so comforting. I totally agree. Thank you for this good news. I'm so happy to be here with you all today. Joining from the USA, us from the USA. Nice guess, I guess right. Thank you for your comment. I really, we really appreciate it, and we totally agree with, with you. It's very comforting knowing that we are never alone. It looks like we have one more from Alta Gisosa, USA. Hello, everyone. Great topic. It is a great reflection to all of us. Yes. This topic reminds us that we are eternal spirits, that death doesn't exist. And what a powerful reminder this is, because sometimes when we are struggling, we think the struggling will go on forever, but that's temporary and our spirits are eternal. So, yes, what a great reflection. Thank you so much, Alta Gisosa, USA. Well, you have one more here from Flavia Fernandez. Thank you so much for this presentation, Veronica. Life goes on after death. And if you didn't know about this, now you know. Embrace that reality that we have dimensions. So we have our material di dimension here, and we have the spiritual dimension, and they coexist. And we are exchanging all the time. So awesome. So, well, you who are watching this event with us, we want to tell you that, you know, all of your doubts have an answer. On next Saturday, September 10th, we're going to have the course Get to Know Spiritism, and you can participate. And this course will be held in English, by the way, for um, our friends from the U.S. that are joining us today. And remember that the course is 100% online. It is, as Rodrigo said earlier, free. We do not charge anything for this. And uh, yes, it is in English. That's right, Cara. You can register now by clicking on the website www.concafrasglobal.com or in the description of the YouTube video. It's easy. Select the big red button that's saying, I want to enroll in the course. Get to know Spiritism. Click now to register. Do not miss this opportunity. Thank you, Rodrigo. And now I want to invite us to listen to our second talk, which is the topic, Scientific Evidence for Reincarnation. Now, this is a very interesting topic as well, because most people, you know, we believe that we have several lives on Earth. But what does science say about that? That's right, Cara. How intriguing and interesting what science has to say. And who you give it this talk is our sister Anna Oliveira from Alabama, United States. May Jesus involve and inspire her. Hello, everyone. I'm Anna Oliveira, and I'm talking to you from the state of Alabama in the U.S. And I'm going to talk about scientific evidences of reincarnation. So this very interesting area of research the research that looks um, into evidences of the, the, the life after death can be divided in main areas, in four main areas. So the first one looks at reincarnation and that we can do uh, in two main sub areas. We can look for spontaneous memories in children or spontaneous memories in adults about past lives. Um, another area is transcommunication or communication with the spirits, right? And that can be mediumic when you have a medium facilitating that communication, or it can be instrumental when you actually have an instrument, uh, um, we can call a machine that is actually going to capture that communication. The other two areas are the studies of near-death experiences and out-of-body experiences. But today we're going to focus only on reincarnation and actually more on spontaneous um, memories in children because the evidence that we get from this area of research is supposed to be, it's thought to be stronger than 
uh, spontaneous memories in adults, right? Because children are in these children that usually report those spontaneous memories are very young. So there's less time for them to be influenced by all the other information around them, things that they read, things that they see on TV. So because the evidence it's a little, it, it is considered stronger when it's coming from children than adults. That's what we're going to focus today because of our time. Um, but I just want to make sure that we all know that. So, you know, especially the area of past life therapy or conscious regression, right? Or regression therapy where people actually, and it's, it's very used uh, to treat phobias and fears that people have. And you have here and on the screen a lot of different um, researchers that actually um, contribute uh, significantly to this area of research. Uh, and you can see here in Russia, US, Brazil, France, and Germany, just to name some of them. But like I said, we're going to focus this, this um, talk in spontaneous memories in children. And for that, we're going to highlight three main researchers in this area. So we'll talk first about Dr. Uh, Professor Banerjee from India. We'll talk about Dr. Ian Stevenson from the US and also his um, contributions. And we'll give an example also from Brazil with the engineer Ernani um, Andrade. So talking about um, Professor Banerjee from India, right, from this um, university in uh, Jaipur, India. So director of research in this Indian Institute of Parapsychology. Um, he was actually the pioneer of this type of research at the university level. Started some time ago in 1953, and he has led a group of diverse researchers uh, into this area. So with over 1,200 cases investigated, and he altered uh, this book, Americans Who Have Been Reincarnated, uh, where he can, you know, the, the contributions actually of Dr. Of Banerjee, of Professor Banerjee, it's actually beyond only just investigating and uh, reporting these cases, but his publications also um, give a lot of information on the protocol, on the scientific method that needs to be used in these investigations. And you can see how very controlled those studies are and very strict and um, a very specific they 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 really are very sound scientifically. So he provides in his books, for example, not only the reports, but also the how to the protocol, you know, with the explanations on how he's actually conducting these studies. Now, moving on to Dr. Ian Stevenson um, from the University of Virginia School of Medicine in the US. So he was one of the first ones to actually computerize analysis and have this database of cases of children that remember, you know, past lives. Um, so he had in the beginning a thousand cases, but he has investigated, he and his team, more than 2,600 cases, right? Um, and a lot, he has a lot of books, but he also publishes as a researcher in research type of journals. Um, for example, if you search for his name, you can see um, that he has published in 1993 in the Journal of Scientific Exploration in the, his um, area of research that he's pioneer that we call birthmarks, right? So he noticed that in studying those children, those cases, that around one third, 34, 35% of the children uh, that he was investigating, they had birthmarks in the current life that actually uh, correlated with uh, wounds or the way that the this person died in the past life. The other example that we want to talk about is um, Ehnani Guimarães Andrade, who was an engineer and the founder of the Brazilian Institute of Psychobiophysical Research. So he has several books. 
um, you know, in Portuguese, but that also has been translated in Spanish, like reincarnation in Brazil, or where he talks about eight cases of reincarnation. So he explains, um, you know, the, the investigation and, and, and those cases in that book. But he also did some studies um, investigating what he calls the model of biological organization. So that it will be similar to a spiritual body that actually is associated that we it's associated with us and is attached to us since our uh, birth, right? And that captures all our biological alterations that captures all of the experiences that we have since our birth, right? So this is one of the areas that he worked being um, an engineer, right? So very familiar with math and physics, you know, and, and the use of models. So that is one of his contributions. So these three main researchers and others, right, have been documenting and researching in a very uh, methodological sound and, and very systematic way, um, you know, these cases of children that actually remember their past lives. So I'm going to go over just like the summary a little bit of what are these results that they found. So if we look in the cases resolved by country, because not every single case that is reported to them, it, they call it solved, right? Sometimes it they classify that as unsolved because they don't find enough evidence to really link this person in this life with their past life that they are reporting, the child in this case. Um, it doesn't mean that the child is lying, the parents are lying or anything like that. It's just that from the criteria that they have for the research, it didn't meet all the criteria. So they consider that un unresolved. But you can see that a lot of these cases are resolved, you know, and with the percents, like in the US, 20% of the cases were resolved in Thailand, 93%. If we look at the age that most people and most of those children remember past lives you can see that they are very young where the the age starts right around two years old and peaks you know maximum four years old and then you see that later you know the older children it's it's less common for them to remember so it's usually very early um, again, if we look in general, not by country, like I showed you in the first time, if we think about the ones that they could verify, the ones that they couldn't, 89%, so the vast majority of the cases were resolved, right? They can actually verify, um, and they do a lot of, you know, they, they will uh, do a, an extensive survey. They will you know, look back at records, you know, interview, inter do interviews with, with people associated with that. Um, so it's a very extensive study. So 89% are, are solved. Um, if we look at the gender reassignment in, in the reincarnation, so 35%, around 35% of the cases, you know, it, it's the same gender, um, but 65% actually come with a different gender. If you have been studying spiritism, that's not a surprise for you that that is possible, right? Um, and if we think about the time between one birth and the other, that is also a very short time. So usually in months, the time in months. So sometimes, few, some cases, you know, one year, uh, but, you know, mostly two to three years. Um, and then less cases if that time between one birth and another or one life and another it's longer right than than 48 months um the relationship between family right do we do these children come in the same family or do they come in another family so only 34 percent of the cases had a family relationship between this life and the next but 66% or uh, two thirds, right, had no family relationship. And like I said before, in terms of birthmarks corresponding to injuries or wounds that they had that caused their death in the past life that now they're showing in this life. So around 34% had birthmarks, and but the majority, 66%, had no birthmarks. So 
all of this, uh, it's, it's, it's just to show us that uh, this idea of life after death is not just of the spiritism, but it's a scientific idea that has been studied by many researchers, um, that the evidence is mounting already and is out there for us to read and for us to, to be familiar with and for us to learn more. And I hope that you got um, curious and, and excited and that you can continue your studies um, and that we all with this knowledge can live our lives, um, you know, knowing that, you know, life does not stop at the, at the death of the physical body. Much peace to all of you and thank you. Cara, Cara, Cara. I was impressed with the scientific evidence of reincarnation and that the spirits had already revealed it to us in the 19th century. Interesting, isn't it? Absolutely. Wow. We have people from several countries that really enjoy this talk. We would like to say hello to our friends from Canada, US, Brazil. Now let's take a look at the chat to the to see the comments. So we're gonna alternate. Okay, that sounds good. So it looks like we have something from Andre who says sometimes people say that religion and science can't join. This is true. It's comfortable to know that we can support our faith with reason. Yes, Andre, very true. So let's see the next one is from Rodrigo. Thank you very much, Ana Oliveira, for this talk. It's great to understand that spiritism and science work side by side. Very, very well. And this is from One Love and Unity. This really shows why we should listen to four-year-olds when they want to tell us things they remember. Yes, that data point was sort of interesting that that was the age when they, they most remember their previous incarnations. So fascinating. So Amaka Modern Art, wow, I really didn't know that so many respectable doctors or PhDs, right? Researchers have validated reincarnation. Gosh. Yeah, that's quite interesting. So as more we study, and that's why it's so important that we invite all of you to have the chance to study, because as more we study, more we open our mind and understanding about the life beyond life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And as you mentioned studying, I just wanted to mention that we have seen that many people have already enrolled in the course, Get to Know Spiritism. And once again, we want to point out for those of you who might just be joining us, that the course Get to Know Spiritism is 100% free. Um, it is in English and you can do it um, from home, right? This will be offered virtually. And the classes are dynamic and they are interactive as well. So they give you a chance to ask questions and to to share your thoughts and because in this course we are also going to study the scientific and philosophical aspects of spiritism so don't miss this opportunity the to to, to join the study with us the um please register for this course it will be starting on saturday september 10th and Rodrigo, would you please tell me and tell us all how do we enroll in this course kara it's easy. Just click on the link in the comments of the video and you will be automatically enrolled. If you are using a computer, you can access our website www.concafrosglobal.com. There is a big red button that says, I want to enroll in the course get you know spiritism. One click, one simple click and you and your registration is done. Now you are ready to attend the first class next Saturday, September 10th. Don't miss this opportunity to learn more about spiritism. Please register now. Remember, as Cara said, the course is 100% online, it's free in English. What else we need? 
well, I don't know because I'm just going to go ahead and work on my enrollment. And while I work on that, I would think maybe could we see one more testimonial from from someone who took the course last uh, last, last semester? Could could we watch that? I think that's a great idea. Let's check it out. Eu gostado bastante do grupo de estudo. É, tem, tem várias reflexões que eu, que, eu, que eu me permitia ter durante a minha jornada aqui na Nova Zelândia, que elas foram, foram sendo vistas de outros olhos a partir do momento que eu adquiri esse conhecimento do Evangelho, do Espiritismo. Né? E eu comecei a praticar bastante no meu dia a dia e eu senti essa melhora no meu dia a dia com esses aprendizados que eu estava tendo, com esses ensinamentos que estavam sendo repassados para mim. Wow, how beautiful is that? It's quite nice to see those testimonials. So now we we'll have a very special moment, a spiritual treatment at a distance with paths and magnetized water. Yes, and let's remember that the past is a transmission of energies, of, of good vibrations. And even though we are not physically close together, these vibrations cross great distances. It only depends on our own attunement, concentration, and commitment. Let's all together connect with Jesus and good spirits, asking for comfort, healing, and support for our lives, families, friends, and humanity. Yes, and for this we ask you to just find a quiet place, a still place, sit down in the most comfortable way possible with your mind and your heart and your spirit open and willing and prepared to participate with the very best of your vibrations. Good point. You can have, uh, can have a container of or a container, a bottle of water nearby to be magnetized. I have mine here. I do too. I'm ready. So do you have yours? I do. I got mine earlier when we got the reminder, and I'm looking forward to this blessing of the awesome. past. Audience who are watching this, do you have yours? All right, let's do it. Lord Jesus, Divine Master, we thank you so much, Lord, for this amazing opportunity. May God bless us during the pass that we are up to receive. Let us then mentalize at this moment a waterfall of crystal clear water falling abundantly upon us. As it falls, May it cleanse our hearts of all the difficulties we might have cultivated throughout the day and week. We are now feeling cleaner and fulfilled. Thank God. Let us now mentalize the sun shining bright upon us. May it bring us Jesus warmth, Jesus peace, the peace that Jesus grants to each one of us. Let us feel stronger, calm, confident, with our hearts filled with faith, certain that God is among us all the time. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for these moments of peace. May God bless us all. So be it. Wow, what a blessing, those good vibrations. Such a blessing. This has been, Rodrigo, such a 
more, you know, a, a, a memorable, consoling, and just emotional evening. This has been such a good webinar. And I want to just remind everyone that, you know, if you like these good vibrations, that you can experience this in our course, Get to Know Spiritism, that starts next Saturday, September 10th. And everyone can participate because, again, it's free, it's online, it's in English. And if you have not registered yet, while you're still in this good feeling, take a moment and just register. The link is below this video. Hey, just to remind everyone that this World Bike Study Program was specially designed to support people from different parts of the world interested in knowing more about spiritism. It follows Kardec's thought of systematic studies. As a school, the depth of the subject discussed will increase according to student progress in the program. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't know about you, Rodrigo, but I love, you know, it's one thing to hear us talk about it. And it's another thing to hear from the students who have actually taken the course. So I'm wondering if we could hear another testimonial from someone who's studying at Global Kardec. I think that's a great idea. Eu sou aluna do grupo de estudos Noções Básicas da Doutrina Espírita e estou aqui para compartilhar um pouquinho de como tem sido a minha experiência. Para minha surpresa, a proposta desse curso ela vai muito mais além do que eu imaginava. Com a reforma íntima e a leitura de uma obra espírita paralelamente com o estudo dos principais conceitos, nós somos incentivados a é, pôr em prática mesmo tudo aquilo que a gente aprende na aula, no nosso dia a dia. A gente tem algo que motiva a gente a estar é, refletindo sobre nossas ações e co realmente colocando em prática aquilo que a gente aprende da doutrina, né? a gente começa a colher resultados positivos. Eu já tenho com certeza é, notado grandes diferenças, mudanças no, em comportamentos e até mesmo né, da forma de, de lidar com as situações que acontecem na minha vida por conta justamente desse grupo de estudos, né, do que eu tenho aprendido lá. Wow, what a great message, Cara! Thank God we have spiritism, this consoling knowledge in our lives. If you are watching us, you probably have a good reason. Take the chance to get to know spiritism. You will not regret. This knowledge can change your life forever. Come to Global Kardec. Come to study spiritism with us. Yes, from our hearts to yours, we invite you to be a part of this study. And even though we heard these testimonials from our friends speaking in Portuguese, our course is in English and you can meet new friends, be in this wonderful learning environment with good vibrations, a place to ask and get your questions answered. So do your enrollment, we're waiting for you. And remember the enrollment is free, it's online, and you can have the link right here. I can see it on the screen and it'll be below the video. We would love to study with you. Please join us. Yeah, that's right. Please join us. Cara, our event is ending. Yes, it's been wonderful sharing these moments together, but don't be sad, Rodrigo, because we're going to be together, together again in December for the special Christmas Concafidus Global. Check it out.
how exciting. Last year event was wonderful. I don't know if you remember Cara, but I do remember the story was a feeling, the music, uh, everything that has uh, was awesome. If you want to know more information, please visit our website, www.conferenceglobal.com. Yes, and before our closing prayer, we have a very special request. You know, it's very important to us to know what you are thinking about our event. Uh, we'd love to know how we can improve. And if you wouldn't mind to please do us a favor and take a, just a couple of minutes to fill out the evaluation questionnaire that's right here in the comments and also on your screen in the video description. It's just a very quick survey, just a few minutes. And this will help us, your feedback will help us to organize our next events. And we also have this questionnaire available on the concafrasglobal.com website. Please help us. Now, we invite our friend Bill from Ohio, United States, to do our closing prayer. Great God, Master Jesus, spirit friends, we thank you for today's lessons, bringing the light of your wisdom on the great questions that have troubled humans throughout time. Thank you for sanctifying this virtual space and guarding against those who would do us evil. Help us to help them see the path that leads to your house. We ask for continued help and guidance so that we don't lose our way Enable us to hear your voice whispering the truth in those darkest hours and guard us from those voices that whisper falsehoods. Help us stay the pathway we have chosen for our journeys. We are humbled by your wisdom and strength. We are honored to serve and to deliver your message to our friends and our neighbors across all countries around the world. Show us the way to find peace and happiness. So be it. Wow, thank you very much for joining us today. God bless us all. Bye and see you next time. May the peace of Jesus be with you, my beloved friends, brothers, and sisters. We will see you at Global Card Deck. Take care. See you at...